So I'm here with Jay from Metro Pizza, and you're just talking about this this disaster you <laughs> had with the pizza dough? A little bit of a disaster. It, it taught me a lesson one time. I threw the dough in the air, and it <laughs> caught the fan and shot out into the dining room. So. I stand about two feet behind the fan now if I throw All right. it up. We're not doing anything dangerous today here on Live at 5 at 4. So what are you making for us today? So uh, we had some new customers from out of town come in, and the gentleman liked regular pizza with red sauce, and his wife uh, wasn't a fan of red sauce, so she asked if we could do the base with garlic butter. Huh. And uh, made it for her, and she yeah. loved it. And so I thought it would be a fun thing to do here on on WBIR. My two favorite ingredients. I love it too. So how do you start? You've okay, got your so great I, dough. I've got 13 ounces of fresh dough that we make at the pizza place. And we're going to have this on special all week. So if you want to stop by the pizza oh, place and try it. It's kind of like a, you know, a, a breadstick with some mozzarella cheese yeah. on it. Is that just kind of like half melted butter? What have you got there? Yeah, so you can use soft butter and then add some, gran I would add granulated garlic. If you do garlic powder, it could be a little bit too salty, but granulated garlic is a nice um, option. Like the minced garlic you just get at the grocery store or chop it up yourself? Uh, you can use fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. We have that as well at the store. Uh, this is basically just garlic butter, which mm. a lot of people order as a side to dip their crust in. Mm. So this is already on the pizza now. So it's like one big breadstick at this point. Exactly. Mm, yum, yum. And it would taste good just like this, I think. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and add, uh, I've got about, uh, it's okay, I've got about eight ounces of <laughs> Uh, shredded mozzarella cheese here. Yes, it's nice and thick. And I'm going to use about half of that. <laughs> cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and then we uh, we make our chicken parm uh, from scratch at the restaurant. And this is almost like having chicken nuggets on the pizza. Okay. Um, the chicken parm is breaded and really lovely taste. Kind of bite-sized pizzas yeah. pieces there. Yeah, we've <laughs> diced them up. And then tomatoes are nice. Uh, it just adds a little burst of flavor. And so, and it makes it pretty. So your lady or he didn't like tomato sauce though. You didn't put she, the tomatoes on for her. We didn't put the tomatoes on for her. But, He's um, improved the recipe now. <laughs> this is how I would eat it. <laughs> and then it, it, at the topping, we're going to have some uh, cooked crumbled bacon. Yeah, bacon. <laughs> These ingredients bacon. are getting better and better. We got butter, garlic, all tomatoes, bacon. chicken, and bacon. Almost all fat free. <laughs> exactly. Super healthy. And you put another layer of the, the mozzarella end, cheese on. Yes. And that mm -hmm. just kind of ties everything together. And then you'll want to bake it for about eight to ten minutes at 450. And I've got a finished product for you. Let's, ooh, I love the magic of television. Bring it out. That there was that go. beeping noise. We heard the pizza yes. is ready to go. Oh, there yum. Yum. So this would serve what? One person? <laughs> it would serve a family. It looks great. Now, uh, Ryan, remind people where Metro Pizza is. Metro Pizza is in Alcoa, just past the airport and the Walmart shopping center. Wow. So yep. if you don't want to make this yourself, you can just stop by. Absolutely. How long is the special going on? All week long. And I didn't know you took special orders, so really that lady just walked in and made yeah, some so requests. Yes, if we've got the ingredients, we'll definitely uh, accommodate. And I love it that she made a suggestion and then you adapted yeah, it to make it your own. Yeah, super nice. Awesome. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Great to see we you will have this recipe on our website, wbir.com. People will email us. Where is it? Give us a couple hours. We'll get it up there. Have